Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading, you and them. I'm going to be looking at your energies and your person's energies and how you both feel or think about each other. All right, so we're going to get right into it for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, check out your other placements if they're more prominent in your chart, your Moon, your Rising, your Venus. And yeah, we're going to get right into it. So for Sagittarius spirit regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. This will be for those of you who already are in some sort of connection or have someone in mind. For Sagittarius, please, regarding the person they are thinking about at this time, spirit. For Sagittarius, the person they are thinking about at this time. For Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, let's start with how your person thinks or feels about you. Oh, well, that was quick. Okay, we got the vulture and tiger. Interesting. So your person feels like they've made a mess and they have to clean it up. Um, they're very uh, motivated with the tiger. This is very similar to the queen of wands energy. So... I feel like your person um, views you as this queen of wands. Um, they, they want to move towards you, but before they do that, they have to clean up something with the vulture here. All right, tell me about Sagittarius and the energies that they're bringing to this connection. For Sagittarius, please, what are the energies that they're bringing to this connection spirit? Sagittarius. Hyena. Interesting. So I feel like with the hyena, there's a lack of confidence. There is a, a hiding of how you truly feel. You're not showing anybody that you're hurting or scared or you're not showing them your true feelings. Perhaps out of fear or a lack of confidence or, or you don't have the courage to really be open. Tell me more about Sagittarius and the energies they're bringing to this connection spirit, please. Cosmic Egg. Okay, so you are... Cosmic Egg is all about a culmination, completion, similar to the world card of the tarot. Things are being wrapped up here. This is the end of a cycle for a new one to begin. So you could be ending a cycle in your life right now and are ready for something new. And I feel like that you're keeping this to yourself. I don't think I don't think this is something you're communicating like this feeling of wrapping up a cycle and starting a new one. I don't think you're communicating that to your person or to anybody. So let's get into the tarot. Now, just because I'm having them on one side and you on the other, Sagittarius, feel free to flip them if they resonate more. Spirit for Sagittarius, please. What do we need to know about this connection between Sagittarius and this person? What do we need to know? Let's start with your person here. What do we need to know? about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Let's get some insight into how this person feels towards this connection. So we got the Empress reversed with the Three of Wands reversed. Something here is not happening. Your person is not able to manifest or create something. Something is not growing. Someone could have possibly missed an opportunity or gave up on waiting for something. Any more? This is way too many. Can I get some more? That's, why do I? There's so many cards. I get like three or four at a time. Thank you. Nine of cups reverse. Yes, your person is not 
They have not gotten what they want. Their wish has not been granted. Something has not been manifesting here. What else can you tell me? Maybe they waited too long. Ugh, again, with like four cards. I, I'm not going to take four cards every time. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Anything else for Sagittarius and the person they are dealing with? Four of Wands reversed. There's a lack of harmony. What's that? Stability. Can I get one more? I feel like your person is not... Again, this is a mess that I think they created. I think they're the reason why nothing has grown or manifested here. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like they're working on fixing this. They're working on turning all of this around. Bottom of the deck, the hangman. They know. They've gotten clarity or enlightenment about how they need to work on something here. On, you know, the work or effort that they should be putting into something. They're seeing things from a different perspective and it's probably causing them to actually put in effort now. So what about you, Sagittarius? What are your energies like towards this person? Okay. The lovers flipped over their reverse. Tell me more about Sagittarius. What energies are they bringing to this connection spirit? Seven of Wands reverse. What else? What else? No. Okay, Eight of Cups reverse. So I feel like you left a connection here. You walked away from a connection here. Or are thinking about it. This is that Cosmic Egg card. Wrapping something up, leaving something behind. You're, you don't want to fight anymore. You're kind of giving up here. You might have already done this. There might have been a separation or just a bad choice. And the person that you chose. Or something here is just not working out. Tell me more. What else can you tell me about Sagittarius? Yeah, the Magician Reverse. So something here is not being manifested, possibly an offer. I think you were waiting for something solid from this person. I don't think they were able to give it to you. With the Emperor's Reverse, either they had someone in their past that was getting in the way because the Emperor's Reverse to me as a reader can be a jilted lover, someone that's been left and is very upset about it. Or it could be that your person just doesn't have anything to give you right now. You know, whatever they, the, whatever your person wanted to get done or bring to you or, or grow with you was not able to happen. Could be because there's a lack of stability or maybe some family issues in the home. Anything else for Sagittarius? Then I'll clarify these. Five of Pentacles reversed. And the Ten of Wands at the bottom. I think you've been really struggling here. Carrying a, a heavy burden. Maybe you have a lot of responsibilities. Um, maybe your heart is heavy. There's a lot of baggage in this connection. Um, but I think you want, you want to stop the struggle. You want to overcome the difficulty and put down this burden here. Spirit, help me clarify these energies, please. Let me clarify these energies, please. For Sagittarius. Start with this Emperor's Reverse. What's this Emperor's Reversed about? Why is she here? 
the chariot. So this is Cancer energy all about moving forward, progressing. Again, I feel like maybe your person wanted to have a successful partnership with you and something just didn't work here. Tell me more about the Empress Reverse. Four of Cups. Maybe there was a missed opportunity here. Someone wasn't interested anymore or something they were just not seeing. They were maybe focused too much on what happened in the past. And so I feel like this person is distracted by the past is what I'm feeling. And it caused them to miss out on something here. Now, I do have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom, which to me, she's always in a commitment. You know, Queen of Pentacles is typically in a long-term commitment already. So it could be that your person just was not interested in a cup that had to do with commitment, or there was some sort of interference here. We'll see. Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse. Strength reverse, Leo energy here. I feel like your person lacked the courage to see something through. Tell me more about this Three of Wands reverse. Ace of Cups reverse, and this was very disappointing. I really feel like they screwed up. The sun reverse again with Leo energy here. Um, I feel like they had an opportunity here to move forward, to take a chance, and they blew it. Tell me about this four of wands reverse. What's going on here with this four of wands reverse? The hermit. This is someone who is withdrawn, doing their own thing, thinking, planning their next step, seeking answers. Wow, and this has to do with a partnership of some sort with the two of cups at the bottom here. I feel like this was a good at first or, or there was potential here. And then someone kind of backed off. Let's see. Tell me more about this Four of Wands reverse. Knight of Cups and the Two of Wands reversed. So again with the Two of, two of Wands reversed, this is someone who, you know, something had potential at first and now no longer has potential. Could be that someone finally chose a path here so I feel like your person, um, after doing some thinking and reflecting with the Hermit, Virgo energy here, on how they screwed up something that possibly could have been great, um, now they want to come to you, maybe apologize or express how they feel. What's at the bottom? Yeah, and make things right with justice. We're getting a lot of major arcanas here. Libra energy there. And now they're, they're going to put in the work. What is this Eight of Pentacles about? Oh, okay. So something was imbalanced, off, um, not equal here, not even. Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles. So they might be wanting to fix that. Might be too little too late. We'll see how you feel in a second. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, please. That's way too many. Can I get one card, please? Thank you. Can we hear that noise in the background? It's rain. Ten of Cups reversed. Yeah, th this is what they're cleaning up with the vulture. What's that? 
This is what they're cleaning up with the with the vulture. They're, they're working on cleaning something up here, something that they broke. Possibly a commitment. This was possibly a family. Maybe children were involved. There was a lot of disappointment. So they have a lot of work to do, I feel. So let's see. What about you here? Tell me about the lovers reverse, please. Gemini energy. Six of wands reverse. Yeah, this was not a successful connection. Um, I have the sun reversed again at the bottom. Something happened between you. I got one more for the lovers, please. Reverse. Justice. And the wheel of fortune reverse at the bottom. With Justice, I feel like this was um, either it could have been a divorce or um, you just know the truth of the situation. You, you are very objective when it comes to this separation. Um, you see it for exactly what it is at this point is the what I, the energy I'm picking up here. And that's why I feel like you gave up and are walking away. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Knight of Wands, you're going after something else here. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. Moving quickly. Eight, yeah, moving quickly, Eight of Wands. Even though the, you're a little bit worried deep down i feel like this is not this is part of the hyena energy you're not telling anybody that you're scared or worried you're putting on a brave face about this departure or about how you feel here you um you could be stressing someone out <laughs> because you're not acting how you typically act possibly maybe you're talking about how you're moving towards something else Tell me about the magician reverse. I feel like I just heard the message like they're bringing you everything now that it's too late. Now they want to do everything that you had asked them to do before. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to break free from this, from this unhealthy attachment or this negativity, this toxicity. Yeah, and I feel like it's causing a tower. The fact that you are breaking free is shocking someone. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're very stable and grounded. This is a very sensible decision for you. A very practical decision for you. This tower. Either this tower happened to you and you're just dealing with it very well. And using this as an opportunity to break free. Because I feel like this breaking free, um, this devil reverse, I feel like you weren't able to do that. Or you're probably breaking free of manipulative energy, negative energy, feeling trapped. Um, you're breaking free of that. And it's like you're doing this on your own with the Queen of Pentacles or you're just handling this very well and overcoming the difficulty here. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles reverse. And you're not going to let anybody um, know how scared you are or how worried you are. As far as everybody else is concerned, like you're making this happen. Extreme. Yeah, you're extreme. You're emotionally completely shut off. Also, this could be that you're overcoming um, deception. Someone could have. Yeah, somebody could have seriously disappointed you. I feel like the heartbreak, the disappointment, it's really made you going to have the sun reversed. This this devastation, because it's what it kind of feels like, um, I feel like it's made you into this Queen of Swords reverse energy where you don't really care anymore. 
how you deal with the situation, how you deal with another person. You're very cold and calculating, and I feel like it's been a necessary transition for you. I get one more for this Five of Pentacles reverse. So I feel like while this person here wants to really clean up their act and bring you this cup, I just don't know if this Queen of Swords reverse will accept it. Let's see what else we get here. Can you get one more for this Five of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, Page of Wands reversed and the Nine of Swords. I think someone's going to feel... I just don't think you, you're you ready for a new beginning or you want a new beginning with this person. I feel like this person, this is how you feel about having a new beginning with them. You're just stressed to the max. Like, you just want this to be done. I feel like with this person, it's only been disappointment after disappointment. For those of for those Sagittarius that I'm reading, this is this is what I'm picking up here. This person, yeah, yeah. I feel like this person is just is it would be a bad judgment call to someone's bad judgment calls have affected you, but you are you are. No, you are seeing this for exactly what it is. This is such a specific message. Can I get one more, please? For this Five of Pentacles reverse. You're seeing this exactly for what it is. Someone here wants to return to you here. Now that you are doing like good all by yourself here. And look, you are going to have your new beginning. They might be wanting to have a new beginning with you, but I feel like when they return or when they try to come back to you, this is you here with the nine of pentacles. You're just like, I'm doing good by myself. I feel like someone really does want to return to you and, oh, and, and fix this, ha start a new beginning here, but I don't think you're going to be open to this. I don't think, I think it's too little too late. Um... And you are just doing so much better. Even though you've been stressed and worried and anxious about it, I feel like you're still doing much better than you were before. That's what I'm picking up here. And who knows, maybe your person's very sincere. This Knight of Cups is very sincere and wants to apologize and make things right. But it's completely up to you. You know, the, the ball's in your court. I'll leave it there. Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching, for your likes, your comments, your subscribes. I really appreciate it and hopefully you guys have a great rest of your week. Take care.